welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel it's december 2nd i can't believe we're already to december there's one month left of the year which is so crazy i remember last december i remember last christmas i remember the new year i remember the beginning of this year so it just felt like it was yesterday so it's so crazy how it's already December and it's December 2nd and since it's December I've had this since October because you have to buy them so early or else they sell out. I'm gonna open up my advent calendar day two with you all and open it throughout this month with you. I'm kind of debating on um, continuously sharing the products that I opened throughout the week because I don't always vlog during the week and I just don't want it to be like too product heavy or too long if you don't necessarily care about the products that i'm opening but i will highlight yesterday's first day of december product it's the lanolips 101 ointment multi balm in strawberry i'm actually wearing it on my lips right now and i opened it yesterday and i was wearing it all last night um i forgot that it was december 1st yesterday until after i got to work so i didn't open up day one until after i got home and this is probably i'm always wanted to try Lana lips. I've heard really good things about it. This is probably the longest lasting lip balm I've ever used in my life. It's a little bit thicker of a lip balm. It is called or labeled an ointment. You can use it in like other dry areas on your body. This one is strawberry, so I don't think I'd use it anywhere else other than my lips but it's kind of on the stickier side heavier but literally the longest lasting lip balm yesterday i put it on when i got home and i went through like a whole entire workout and i was going to pick up food for dinner and it was still on my lips i was shocked highly recommend i almost wish this was bigger when i opened it i was like oh this is really small hopefully they have bigger size products in this advent calendar to make it a little bit more worth it but love this i <laughs> might even purchase the bigger size even the one that's non-scented just so i could use it in like other areas that are dry like dry patches on my face my skin is on the drier side kind of combination um can be oily and normal it's just like all over the place this would be really great to try and use i do use aquaphor especially if i'm really dry but could be nice to try this on other areas to see how it works if it works better opened up day one i'm gonna this is what it looks like on the inside by the way this is like a really pretty box but here's day two. Oh, it's a perfume this is what was in the box toka stella perfume i love these little perfumes oh my gosh this is the cutest little bottle i've ever seen like how cute is that i don't love that packaging it will just like dump everywhere it smells fruity to me floral definitely on the fruitier side more of a daytime perfume that is day two comes in the cutest packaging though oh that's cute oh it says that on the little tab love yourself love that so i'm gonna add this to my little perfume collection i'm so excited but just wanted to start with the vlog welcome back or welcome if you're new i'm making some air fryer lunch right now i've just been going through all of my video clips from the whole entire year to kind of compile them for my year in review video it's kind of like a clip mashup of all the highlights from the year i do this every single year sorry i'm trying to cook and vlog at the same time but 2023 was probably one of my favorite years this far we had so many amazing moments this year that we got to live went to tulum which i've never been to for a bachelorette trip for one of my best friends sam bridal showers we went to two different bridal showers two of our closest couple friends got married this year at the beginning of this year birthdays friends birthdays family time weekend trips Went to Rosemary Beach, which I've been dying to go to. Got engaged there. Went to Italy. Went all around Italy for 17 days. Trip of a lifetime. A lot of career changes. Just life changes, relationship changes, all positives. Highs, lows. It's been just a great year. So it's really nice to look back on and see what I've done the past year and kind of compile my favorite moments into one video. So I've just been working on that and I keep all my vlog footage from previous videos in 
an external hard drive so I just went through all of the folders from each month and pulled out certain clips and put them in a separate folder so that way when I do start the video it's easy to kind of go through the footage and compile the whole entire video so that's what I've been doing and then I uploaded my footage because I'm really behind on editing and I'm hoping that I can get ahead and have my videos be closer to when I upload them so the fo the footage is more like real time instead of like a week and a half to two weeks behind. I always like to have like extra footage just in case I wanted to take a weekend off of vlogging but I haven't, I honestly have vlogged every single weekend of my life for the past two years and I haven't taken a weekend off so I don't know why I like keep an extra video just in case I want to because I never end up not filming my weekend so I don't know but I'm gonna try and get caught back up and have the vlogs be more closer to the day that I actually film them so trying to get back ahead just been grinding with editing videos to try and get back ahead um, and it's been crazy with work and um, not having a co-worker right now and working late my work just it takes the whole entire day and I don't really have like a second of downtime. So it's just been really busy work week and also YouTube week trying to get back ahead with editing. So anyways, that's what I've been doing, but I'm gonna take a break, eat some lunch and relax and sit on the couch for a little bit and watch some YouTube videos because it's vlogmas time. So there's about to be just like a ton of content being uploaded and that can get a little bit overwhelming so because there's just so much and especially on TikTok because almost every single TikToker that I watch is uploading vlogmas too so there's just a lot of content being uploaded during the month of December. I'm gonna just watch a couple YouTubers that I like to tune into and um, just relax for a little bit. Okay, I just messingly threw my hair up in this clip and I'm gonna do my skincare and put on a little bit of makeup to go to the grocery store and I have an Ulta pickup order for more makeup remover and that's it and come home meal prep get ready for the week but I wanted to open up the advent calendar for the day before I got ready and I'm gonna show you a new device that I got on Black Friday Day three, Magnesium Body Butter by Neom Organics. I need this, let me smell it. You need this, I feel really stressed about work and anxious about work. I've just been really in my head about it. This smells delish. I'm gonna put it on my legs. And maybe like a little bit right here get that essential oil by my nose. It smells like a spa. Lavender, jasmine, and sandalwood. It has magnesium in it, which is good for relaxing, but let's take three. I love this because these are products that I haven't tried. Some of them, I mean, I'm only on day three. I haven't heard of before. That's why I really like doing stuff like this. When I got on Black Friday, I have been contemplating getting this for years, and I finally, Pulled the trigger and bought it on Black Friday, and it's the new face. I got the mini one. I was kind of doing some research on the difference between the Trinity and the mini, and the Trinity just does multiple different things, like it has a, a red light attachment, I think, but it basically does the same thing as this when it comes to like the microcurrent device. So I just went with the mini, it was cheaper. New Face was doing a massive sale. So I got it directly off the New Face site. You can also connect it to your phone. So there's an app and it's Bluetooth. So it connects directly to your phone and there's tons of videos on there that you can follow to guide yourself through the process. So I did that the first night. This is the third day that I'm actually using it. And um, the first day I did it, I didn't notice a difference at all. It had you take like before, during, and after pictures. I didn't notice a difference. Yesterday when I used it, it was actually the first day that I noticed an actual slight difference in my face. So I know with continued use could be beneficial. I basically purchased this because I wanted to see if it actually made a difference. I've done research on TikTok. There's so many different people that read about this product on TikTok. Instagram, YouTube, I've watched so many videos. So 
finally got it and I'm going to use it today before I do my makeup. It also comes in other colors. I just wanted the black one and it came with this big ginormous gel activator which you use before so it doesn't kind of like shock you and then it also came with a brush to apply. So I just apply it in sections. I guess I'm gonna do this side first. And I kind of just like focus it like right here and up. You could do your neck and everywhere like that. But I just followed a video on the first day because I had no idea what I was doing. And now I kind of have an idea. You kind of just go slow and wait till it beeps. I don't know if you guys can hear that. take some time if you want to get the results it is I don't even know how long that took me probably over 10 minutes um, it took me to do just these parts of my face so I did go through each side basically five times and then when I was holding it I did three times so you could probably make it quicker by just going over each section three times but yeah it does take some time and you have to make sure to use this activator gel or it can shock you because it is a microcurrent device so you need the activator i've seen people use um ultrasound gel as like a substitute for it yeah i'm excited to see the results so you do this before skincare you can do it at the beginning of the day end of the day whenever you can kind of fit it into your schedule i'll probably have more time at the end of the day other than beginning of the day but I'm gonna rinse my face off and do my skincare get ready and head to the grocery I debated on even vlogging because I just like feel in such a funk right now and I feel really just sad and emotional and um, just like what am I doing um, I don't know how to describe how I feel right now I just feel really sad and um, I'm just like stressed about work and I hate that and I don't want to get too far into it I already just like cried to Christian for 30 minutes and that helped so I'm just gonna be trying to get out of this funk that I'm in right now because I don't want to end the weekend and start a work week feeling this way so I'm doing the best that I can right now to get out of this funk and also to prevent myself from just like crying these are the steps that i'm going to be taking to get out of this headspace that i'm in um first is crying and second is i'm going to go on a walk it is now dark outside i decided to drive into baldwin park and walk and see the christmas lights 
I brought my headphones just in case to try and listen to like a gratitude podcast and those types of podcasts or style of podcasts really help me just get back into more positive mindset by having me remember all of the really good things that I have going on. I I'm still validating the way that I feel and I cried and let it all out, um, which personally helps me when I feel in this headspace. And going on a walk, just like being outside, getting in fresh air, I've just like hit such a weird funk with just YouTube, um, my work life. It's all just that type of life and I just don't know what to do right now and I don't want to be stressed out about it or um, in this headspace anymore so this is what I'm doing to try and get out of this funk and out of this headspace and try and just get back to like a happier headspace yeah it's just like all day I've just been feeling like so just like so down on myself for like no reason I've just been like really down on myself and I just need to remember like who I am and how good of a person I am and my value and um, like what I enjoy doing and I enjoy sharing my life on YouTube and um, sometimes I just like feel like what's the point why is my voice any more important than someone else and I need to like pull myself out of that because I'm valuable and I hate feeling like that I hate when I get down on myself um I just like question my value right now on YouTube and in my work life I'm like hesitant to share this stuff but I just have been questioning like why am I even doing YouTube like why am I sharing my life like just I'm just being very down on myself and I need to get out of this headspace so this is what I'm doing to get out of it I'm gonna walk around and look at all the Christmas lights listen to a gratitude podcast remember just who I am and how valuable I am and um, let's get out of this funk that I'm in because um, I just like don't want to be in this headspace anymore I've just been like sitting in it all day I just don't want to sit in it anymore so Let's go on a walk and look at Christmas lights and then we'll go get dinner. feel like 50% better than when I started the walk so now I'm gonna go home and we're gonna go get some food and I'm gonna listen to the Michael Buble Christmas album mm -hmm. 